story time today. You are going to be the one to create the story. I want you to pretend that you are the Pokemon president, right? I know there's probably like a whole board member group that makes all the decisions, but I want you to be the dictator of Pokemon today. Everything you say goes. The way you want is the way it's going to be, okay? Imagine you're in that position. Now, I want you to think about how Sword and Shield's been out for four years, right? It's going on four years. It's getting close. So it's been going on for four years coming up, and you got a couple of more set releases you have to do and keep people entertained and interested, okay? How do you do that? What would you do? Do you just make better looking cards? Do you keep doing the same thing? Or do you start introducing a trainer gallery? Okay, I think you guys are seeing where I'm going with this, okay? Um, now, we've only ever seen one instance of this before, and I am bringing to you, right, I'm putting the evidence on the table that this is a new pattern from Pokemon, okay? So follow me here. Pokemon, last uh, block, right? Well, let's call it a set block. That's a Sun and Moon, XY, Sword and Shield, right? During the Sun and Moon block, at the end of its lifespan, it introduced new types of cards, tag teams, okay? They also had trainer gallery cards in those sets as well. You guys might not remember that, but you could pull trainer gallery cards just like you can now with Brilliant Stars and Astral Radiance, okay? But think about that. They introduced trainer gallery, but then got rid of it when Sword and Shield came around. Why could that be? Again, put yourself in that position of the president. You have a set that's been out for nearly four years. It's getting boring. I don't know if you guys remember, but the first cards that came out in the Sword and Shield block were just VMAXs, rainbows, trainer, uh, not trainer gallery, trainer cards. Those are the rarest cards you could get. In my opinion, those are kind of boring. But when a new, new set releases, the, po the new Pokemon themselves from the game Sword and Shield can keep things nice and fresh alive. You're trying to get those really cool cards. You're trying to get that new VMAX, that Dynamax, right? That's interesting. Um, it gets people to chase after, but after that's been around for a while, it's eh, kind of lame, right? Then they introduce alt cards, stuff like that. But then you keep, you're just refreshing the same cards over and over again. So again, how do you keep it fresh? You could boost the pull rates, but now you run into issues where that big chase card, people get it the first go, people aren't buying as much, okay? You're the president of Pokemon. You have to make sure you make money. You have hundreds of thousands of employees. You gotta put food on their table. You wanna take that away from them? Or do you introduce a new subset of cards called the Trainer Gallery? By putting this in the reverse hollow slot, you essentially double the rate. So you've increased rates to keep people interested. Now it's fun again to pull these cards, right? You've seen all the Pokemon now, right? Um, maybe besides the uh, Husinian Pokemon from uh, Legends Arceus. Uh, but now you're drawing that interest back, okay? You've increased the rates. People want to get the better stuff now, okay? And then you also make those trainer gallery cards look really cool as well. So one, you've, uh, you've bumped up the pull rates. Two you've increased the value because you've, you're adding more gorgeous cards to the set at the end of its life cycle, right? So if I was the president of Pokemon, or the dictator in this case, that's exactly what I would do, right? You're increasing sales. Um, you're giving people more of what they want. At the same time, you're not taking away from the product. So again, I come back to Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon did the exact same thing, okay? Sun and Moon introduced the trainer gallery at the end of its life cycle. I think, what, four or five sets start with Unbroken Bonds, carry all the way through. Um, now, Sword and Shield comes out. Pokemon stops producing Trainer Gallery. Again, because the interest in the new set itself can hold that over. So my prediction for you guys here is that we're going to get trainer galleries in the next two sets, right? It's already been confirmed. We've got two more Sword and Shield sets. Everyone want to tell me otherwise, right? I remember when uh, uh, Brilliant Stars was announced. Everyone's like, this is the last set. No more. They're going to start making Violet and Scarlet. Like, what? You're going to make a card series like eight months in advance of the game actually releasing? No, right? Um, I predicted uh, two more, and we got two more are, uh, already um, in the works, right? So... 
My prediction is these last two will continue the trainer galleries, okay? And then once Violet and Scarlet comes out, whatever Pokemon decides to name the new series will not have the trainer gallery cards. They will have the Supermax, right? Um, the Dino Vs, right? Or whatever, whatever the new hook will be for the cards, right? Like we had GX, we had EX, and we had Vs. Whatever the new hook will be, that's what's gonna pull people in with the new Pokemon, right? Um, that's what will carry the set. And then as the end of that life cycle, that series gets in, I'm making a prediction now, right? Call me out in five, six years, or however long it is, that the trainer gallery will come back. It's very smart. Hook the customer with the new Pokemon, your new rarities, right? Then as things kind of get boring, we saw that, right? We saw a lot of sets start getting very boring, people quit buying. But then you start introducing a whole new subset of cards, increase the rates, bring everyone right back. Now they're hyped, they're amped, they're loving it. And then that dies off, it gets a little boring towards the end, right? We saw the same thing in Sun and Moon once again with Cosmic Eclipse. Everyone loves Cosmic Eclipse now, but at that time people hated it. People were kind of sick of the trainer gallery and the tag teams, right? So it kind of starts dying off. But right when it gets boring, the new series comes out. Hype is right there back again, okay? So that's my prediction for you. Um, we're going to see the trainer gallery in the next two sets, and then it's going to be gone for the next series. Full rates are going to go back to the same. But I have a feeling it's going to come right back at the end of that series, right? Again, we only have one other evidence of this, and this is Sun and Moon. But I believe this is the beginning of a pattern, and all patterns have to start somewhere. So if you were the president of Pokemon, is this what you would do? If not, comment down below exactly what you would do, all right? Um, and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. And I will see you guys next time.